For more than 15 years Tesla has been powered by lithium-ion batteries, but now something big is happening. Elon Musk has just made a huge announcement that could change not only Tesla but the whole electric vehicle industry. The upcoming 2026 Tesla Model 2 will be built with aluminum-ion batteries, a technology that many experts and researchers in the past dismissed as unrealistic or impossible to scale. For a long time, people believed aluminum-ion cells would remain stuck in the laboratory stage. But Tesla is not a company that listens to limits. When most of the auto industry said it could not be done, Elon Musk and his engineers pushed forward, and now it looks like the car that millions of people have been waiting for will bring this once-doubted battery chemistry to the mass market. Even though we have talked before about aluminum-ion batteries, this new information is so important that it cannot be ignored. To leave it out would be a mistake because what Tesla is doing right now could completely reshape the future of affordable electric vehicles. The big question is simple but powerful. Why would Tesla take such a bold step, risking so much on a battery technology that so many scientists once called unworkable? What do the raw numbers and early test results really show us? Is this truly the knockout blow to rivals like BYD and Volkswagen, or is it Elon Musk making his riskiest bet yet? Today we are going straight into the facts so that you can see what is real and what is hype. We are not here to recycle rumors. You are watching Torque Element, the channel that breaks down Tesla and EV news with real numbers, data, and context so that you can separate truth from noise. Right now, our community is on the road to 2,000 subscribers, and every single one of you plays a role in helping us grow. If you want analysis without fluff, if you want clarity instead of confusion, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell, and join us. Every click fuels us to keep producing the kind of insights that other places often ignore. Think of it as your pit stop during this journey into the future of electric cars. Let us start by talking about the single number most engineers and buyers care about first. Energy density. Energy density tells us how much power a battery can store for its weight, and it often makes or breaks a new technology. Here aluminum ion does face a challenge. Early figures put aluminum ion cells at around 160 to 200 watt-hours per kilogram. Meanwhile, the lithium-ion nickel-cobalt manganese packs used in Tesla's Model 3 or Hyundai's Ionic 5 deliver closer to 250 to 270 watt-hours per kilogram. On paper that difference is clear. If you built a 50 kilowatt-hour aluminum-ion pack, it would hold around 8 to 10 kilowatt-hours less energy compared to a lithium pack of the same size. In practical terms, that gap translates to roughly 30 to 40 fewer miles of range on a single charge. That seems like a disadvantage. But the story does not stop at raw capacity. The true strength of aluminum ion is not how far you can drive per charge but how quickly you can refill. Laboratory results and prototype testing suggest these cells could recharge from 0 to 100% in just about 10 minutes. Compare that to Tesla's current supercharger, which still takes around 30 minutes to move a lithium pack from 10% to 80%. That difference is not small, it changes the daily experience of owning a car. Researchers at the University of Queensland even reported that aluminum-ion cells could cycle up to 60 times faster than lithium-ion. In other words, the way they accept charge is on a completely different level. For drivers, this is not a technical curiosity. It completely changes the daily math of using your car. Imagine a Tesla Model 2 with a rating of 250 miles. Even if that is 20 miles less than a Model 3 standard range, the fact that you could refill the full range in 10 minutes during a coffee stop instead of waiting half an hour at a charger flips the calculation upside down. It forces you to ask yourself a new question. Do you really need 300 miles of range all in one shot, or would you prefer to have essentially unlimited miles available in 10-minute increments whenever you stop? Think about your own life. Would you rather have maximum range per charge even if it takes longer to recharge, or would you rather have ultra-fast charging even if the full charge gives a bit less range? Comment 1 if you would stick with maximum range, and comment 2 if you would pick the super fast recharge. Tell us your reasoning because what matters most for the future is not just the raw technology but how people actually use it every single day. Another important point is longevity. Can aluminum ion truly last for decades? When people talk about electric vehicles, one of the biggest concerns is always battery life. A Tesla today with lithium ion cells generally offers between 2,000 and 3,000 full charge cycles. That works out to roughly half a million miles of driving before the battery begins to noticeably degrade. That is already considered a leader in the industry. But aluminum ion aims to push those boundaries further than most people ever imagined. Early projections show these cells could handle close to 10,000 full charge cycles. That would be four times the life of lithium ion. 
In real-world terms, a Tesla Model 2 with 250 miles per charge could potentially cover more than 2.5 million miles before the battery chemistry broke down. Stop for a moment and think about that. 2.5 million miles. A Model 3 buyer today can expect around half a million miles before major battery concerns. But a Model 2 with aluminum ion, if these numbers prove true, could go five times further. That means the car could outlast not just its first owner but possibly two or three owners after that. It could remain on the road longer than most people ever keep a vehicle. This flips the perception of electric cars from being temporary or disposable to being among the most durable vehicles on the road. For an industry that has long fought the worry that EV batteries degrade too fast, Tesla is positioning aluminum ion not just as a cheaper option but as a way to redefine what a lifetime battery really means. Now let us talk about cost. Because while performance matters, money decides everything in the end. Aluminum is one of the most abundant metals on earth. It costs 15 to 20 times less than lithium per ton. That single difference flows through the entire supply chain and cuts down the price of every kilowatt hour of energy storage. Current estimates say aluminum ion packs could be produced at roughly $60 to $70 per kilowatt hour. Lithium ion today sits closer to $130 to $140 per kilowatt hour. That is less than half the cost. Scale that to a compact EV like the Tesla Model 2, which is expected to carry a 50 kilowatt hour pack. Using lithium cells, that pack costs around $6,500 before assembly. Switch to aluminum ion and the figure drops to somewhere between $3,200 and $3,500. That means savings of more than $3,000 per car just from the battery. For Tesla this is massive. Battery costs have long made up around one-third of an EV's total sticker price. Cutting that in half allows Musk to keep the Model 2 near the long-promised target of $25,000, and in some markets it could even be lower. Compare that to rivals like BYD, whose Dolphin EV sells for about $25,000 using conventional lithium packs. With aluminum ion, Tesla could compete without shrinking profit margins because they are changing the equation itself. For buyers this is not just about a cheaper car. It means a Tesla that finally reaches mass market affordability without Tesla needing to compromise profits. Now we return to the question of range. Early estimates suggest the Tesla Model 2 will deliver around 250 miles or roughly 400 kilometers per charge. That is a bit lower than the Model 3 standard range with 272 miles, but it nearly matches the Chevy Bolt at 259 miles and BYD's Dolphin at 250 miles. In other words, Tesla is not trying to break records here. They are slotting the Model 2 into the heart of the compact EV market giving drivers what they realistically need instead of chasing extreme numbers. For context, the average American driver covers about 37 miles per day. That means a Model 2 could last almost a week on a single charge. A Chevy Bolt might stretch just one more day, and a Model 3 might last a week in one extra commute. The difference in practical terms is not life-changing. But here is where Tesla's strategy gets clever. The Model 2's slightly shorter range is balanced by aluminum ions blazing fast recharge. While a Lucid Air might boast 410 miles and a Hyundai Ioniq 6 might deliver 361 miles, the Model 2 can fill up its 250 miles in just about 10 minutes. That is actually faster than filling up a gas tank. Compare that to a Chevy Bolt, which needs about 1 hour on a 55 kW DC charger, or even a Model 3 that takes 25 to 30 minutes on Tesla's 250 kilowatt supercharger. In that light, the shorter range is no weakness. It is a trade-off, one that removes downtime from the driver's life. Aluminum ion promises not just speed but years of use and affordability, all in one package. So here is the big question for you watching right now. Would a car that charges fully in 10 minutes change how you drive every day? Would knowing that the same car could last for millions of miles without losing capacity make you more likely to keep it for decades? These are not abstract questions anymore. They are becoming very real as Tesla moves closer to making the Model 2 a production reality. Drop your answer in the comments because we love hearing your thoughts. Would you prioritize range or would you prioritize speed? Would you keep a car longer if you knew the battery was almost unbreakable? If this got your wheels turning give the video a like. It really helps more than you might realize. 
share your own perspective below because the future of EVs is being written right now and your voice matters. Do not forget to subscribe to Torque Element and tap the bell so you are always in the loop on Tesla updates, leaks and news that you will not see broken down anywhere else in such detail. We are heading towards 2000 subscribers, and every single one of you brings us closer to that milestone. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting us, and we will see you in the next video with even more updates on Tesla's journey to reshape the car industry forever.